Good day, Charity Oomphies. So today, we're going to be looking at some fixes to make Marvel Rivals not crash on macOS as well as run generally better. So before we get into it, I'm just going to say that this is my Steam M-Sync bottle. And yes, I know I asked you guys to use E-Sync before. And to that, I just want to say... I was wrong. Now, before we get into the game, we need to open up our Steam bottle. So we go into Open C Drive. So our C Drive, we go into App Data under Crossover. We navigate to the Marvel folder, we navigate to config, we navigate to windows. So what we need here is this scalability.ini file. I will have it linked in the description below and you will get a folder just like this that says temp FPS mod something. The version number can be different as of the time of this recording. However, the version we want is the ultra potato version. So we copy and we paste. I already have it, so I'm just gonna hit stop. Next, we go into crossover. So, before we begin the game, we need to single click Steam and then hit run with options. We go into environment variables, then we type in this command right here. Steam deck is equals to one space percentage command, percentage command, right? Then we hit run. We could hit create log file. I'm just gonna go without a log file this time around. So what this does is, it makes Steam think that you're running it through a Steam Deck. Which I don't know how that helps, but it helps you run the game without it crashing. So then we go into our library. We go into Marvel Rivals. We hit play. And it should take a while to launch up on the first time. That's normal, don't worry about it. Now when it says warning, no issues with graphic driver, just hit no as usual, and the game should launch right up. And now it should be compiling the shaders. So let it do its thing. If you get this error, just hit exit and restart the game again, or try to log in anyway. Hit skip, then we go into settings, and then we go into the display mode and hit full screen. You could use full screen or you could use borderless windowed. I personally think full screen works better in this case. Set the resolution to 1080p, at the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 or whichever the correct aspect ratio for your display is. In this case it's 16 by 9 so it's locked to 16 by 9 for, and that's going to be the case for most of y'all go into anti-aliasing resolution type, you should now have an option to set it to off. Frame generation mode and low latency mode should be set to off. Low latency mode cannot be enabled on the M1 MacBook Air anyway for some reason. V-Sync should be set to on. Graphics quality should be set to custom with global illumination and reflection quality set to off. You can set these to Lumen GI high quality and reflection quality to Lumen reflections or off, but I for this demonstration, I'm going to keep them both off. Now model details set to performance and everything else set to low. Now let's hit apply and wait for it to do its thing. Now let's go back and try playing a practice match. I'm just going to choose Venom because why not? We are done chasing spiders. We have bigger enemies to conquer. Let's just get the snow out of here real quick. There is no escape. We are going to keep this one. Now let's charge up our alt and destroy these galactopots. Frame rate does fluctuate quite a bit, but you can see that it's pretty stable for the most part. We are we hope you like lambs to the slaughter. Now we know that the game is running pretty good. 
we can now go back and leave the practice match. And now let's try playing a regular match. He'll be coming in 30 seconds. Stay strong. Better stop that vehicle. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Peace.